Hey, what's up? My name is Mike Tex Davenport. I've been snowboarding 18 years, and I'm from Dallas, Texas. Tex is a bulldog, and you can see it in his ride. And if he was a football player, he'd probably be a big linebacker or a lineman. And he always goes really big when he rides, whether it's a big fat jump or a cliff or straight lining down some huge peak in Alaska. One leg of his is bigger than both of mine put together. <laughs> That's the kind of guy he is. He's got legs that won't quit, and he knows how to use them. Started snowboarding in 86. First time I saw a snowboard, just took a lesson. Half a day on the hill, they said I was good to go and been snowboarding ever since. I moved to Baker because uh, at the time and 86, 87, there's a lot of magazine articles out about Baker and the snowboard magazines. And uh, all just to seem to be super deep powder fields and really unique looking terrain. Get the Mount Baker, I'm in the parking lot, pre-season before the ski lift started. Good powder, hiking all alone, didn't really know anybody up there. And I ran to a group of snowboarders and just started tagging along behind them. Come to find out it was Craig Kelly, Dan Donnelly, Sean Farmer, and Jimmy Hollypoff. Finally, one of them turned around. I think it was Dan Donnelly. He says, who are you? I go, my name's Mike. I traveled out here from Texas. I want to learn how to snowboard. Dan was like, you don't mind if we call you Tex, do you? Oh, shoot, you know, not at all. And then that's how the whole Tex thing came about. At that point, they just kind of took me under their wing and, you know, always asked me to go out with them. And, showed me how to snowboard, basically just pointed me off cliffs and just go, Tex, go that way, fast. I guess that was kind of my little uh, intro into the Mount Baker clan. In 92, I caught wind of an extreme contest up in Alaska. 20 riders were invited. There was 20 guys that were scared. It was pretty much a new thing. It was just like, can you ride train this steep? And I was judging and he was competing and he actually uh, impressed everybody and ended up winning the contest. Ended up winning that contest and that's when I got a chance to film with Standard Films. First trip was to the books with Tom Burt, Craig Kelly, Dan Donnelly. It was sweet. It was the evening around 8 o'clock at night, three feet of fresh pow. I was a little bit nervous, and uh, Tom Burt was with us, and he just told me to run for the spines, come down the steep face, and if you make it to one of the four spines, you'll be safe, and that the sluffer that's chasing us with getting to the gully. Tex did a line right along the, the shelf, right over this cliff. I can remember it vivid as today as I watched it live then. You know, just incredible to watch, super fun, going off the whole way. It was unbelievable. And we watched Craig, Kelly, and Tom Burt come down together, side by side 
having an awesome run like that and then being able just to turn around and watch your buddies just come down and slaughter the hill that way. Probably one of the most vivid memories of the wall for me was riding the double spines with Craig and myself side by side and watching Craig actually come down, do a slash, and then pull into the goalie between us in the slough and just get accelerated out the bottom. Probably one of the most incredible fun runs of my life. We just left that night just as ecstatic, just super stoked for a late evening run in Alaska. That was the first time I filmed the standard. It was awesome. After Alaska, I think my second trip to film a standard would be at the Palisades in Squaw Valley. I, I'm like looking over the edge and I'm a little nervous and then the camera guy just goes, are you guys ready? And I'm like, why is the cameraman going to jump into this pit of rock and ice? And Tom Day just jumps into this zone called the chimney. He has to jump in sideways, land on rocks and ice, point it for like 50 or 60 feet and it's a mandatory left hand takeoff or you're going to just peter yourself into the rocks. And the guy stomps it. I looked over the thing and got sick to my stomach. I was like, are you kidding me? I'm going, okay, looks like uh, we got some professionals around here. Tex straight ran some cool shoots and, and popped some fat cliffs, and I think Tex had a, a really wild day that day. That spring, that was the first time most of those lines had been done on the snowboard, so that definitely added to the, to the whole scene. So it was basically a, just a, a big smorgasbord for Tex to feast on, and he had a pretty big meal that day. 